Hi, in today's tutorial, we're going to be diving into the wireless screen sharing capabilities of the MaxHub Interactive Flat Panel, as well as the Bring Your Own Meeting uh, facilities that have now been included in the version 6.4 software. Firstly, let's look at the many ways in which you can uh, connect wirelessly with the MaxHub. The first thing we'll do is we'll swipe the screen to the left. This brings up our wireless screen sharing menu. And we'll go through these options and then we will demonstrate, uh, especially the use of the dongle in a bit more detail. But there are uh, a total of seven ways of connecting with the panel. There's no reason why you should ever need to plug in a cable. Uh, to start with, we've got options for both PC and for mobile phone and tablet. Firstly, we'll have a look at the capabilities in terms of PC, what they provide for. Okay, so if we look at in terms of PC or your laptop, for example, we have the dongle and the dongle uh, I recommend for guests. Uh, this is great if um, there are guests that are not on your network and don't have access to your network. Uh, this communicates directly with the dedicated hotspot in the Max Hub. Um, and there's no requirement for an external network. So that is quite useful. So this, we're gonna go into a bit more depth on this uh, during this tutorial. So the dongle is the one method. The next method is the MaxHub Share Client, which we'll be taking a deeper look at during this tutorial as well. This is freely downloadable from the MaxHub website. There is a URL provided here. Uh, it's a matter of installing the application on your laptop or on your staff's laptop. Uh, anyone who works within the organization who is on the same network as the panel can use the application. Uh, and this is where I say the dongle is great for guests because the dongle uh, communicates via the dedicated hotspot uh, and it bypasses the network. Uh, so this for people working within the organization is the way to go. Uh, you go to the MaxUp website, you install the application, uh, and you enter in the code that appears here uh, at the top of the panel, and you wirelessly connect. Right, the next means of connecting wirelessly is over an internet connection. So if you are not on the same network as the panel, and your USB ports are locked down and you can't use the dongle, uh, you can use the web meeting application. So as long as you have an internet connection, if you tether your phone, for example, uh, you can have an internet connection, you put in the URL, you type in the code, and you wirelessly screen share over an internet connection. And this is a, a last resort uh, in most instances. Uh, also available to you is AirPlay. Uh, AirPlay for Apple devices, that is very useful. There's no need for an application. Uh, you just connect via AirPlay and you share your content with the screen. Miracast is also factored for, for, for if should you be using Miracast. Uh, Chromecast is also catered for. And then the last result, resort would be obviously a cable. Uh, but as you can see, there's many different ways of connecting here. Uh, it should never uh, result in you needing to use a cable. So now what we're going to do is, now that we've been through some of the options on the PC, we're going to quickly have a look at the phone options as well, and uh, the phone and tablet options. Uh, and then we're going to take a deeper look at the various forms of, of connection. So cell phone, very simple. There is a QR code which you can invoke. Uh, you scan this QR code. It'll take you to either the App Store or the Play Store. You download the application, the MaxHub Share application. Once you've done this, that same code will apply. You can then enter in that code into the application and share your device with the board. Uh, and then also you've got AirPlay, Miracast, and Chromecast options available to you as well. Uh, for today's uh, tutorial, we'll be focusing mostly on the dongle and the client share app. Right. So now we're going to take a deep dive into connecting wirelessly to the MaxHub IFP using the MaxHub Share application, uh, which uh, as I showed you previously on the panel, you can download from the URL provided. 
Please bear in mind that if you are going to use the wireless uh, screen sharing application for PC or Mac, you need to be on the same network as the panel, or you need to be connected directly to the hotspot on the panel. As I mentioned previously, I suggest for people working within an organization who are using the panel, use the application, you reside on the same network as the panel, it makes it a lot more seamless in terms of connecting and wirelessly screen sharing. Right, let's have a look and see how we do this. Right, once you've installed the application and you run it for the first time, this is what you will see. The top field where the cursor, cursor is flashing is where you enter in the code that appears at the top of the panel uh, of your MacSub IFP. Or alternatively, it will show you nearby devices and you can cross-reference that code with the code on your panel to ensure that you are looking at the right device if you have multiple devices in the environment. So it's quite simple, either we enter the code at the top and we go connect, or we just select the nearby device, we click on it, and it opens up this menu here. Now, as you will see on this page over here, we've got uh, a selection of uh, different applications we can connect to. So we can either connect directly to the laptop, or we can uh, connect directly to an application, like a PowerPoint application or a PDF document of, of that nature. So this is where you will select um, which application you want to connect to. So if you have a spreadsheet open or a PowerPoint open and you only want to show that particular content on the panel, you select it in this window and you wirelessly screen share. Uh, before we jump into the screen sharing session though, on the left, there are several other menu options. So you have the screen mirror, which is what we're in currently. Uh, you also have file transfer. It's very, very handy. You can transfer files from your um, laptop to the panel, uh, should you wish to bring uh, a document on board for purposes of including it in the whiteboard. Um, and then you've also got another, um, at the bottom, uh, you have another tab called um, shared peripherals. And this is the bring your own meeting functionality that they've now included uh, with this uh, package. And we will jump into that a, a little bit later. So it's very simple. You select uh, your, um, your screen of choice. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna select the desktop. We will go start cast. And you'll see now we have mirrored our screen with the Max Hub. And what's important to remember as well is that we've got full bi-directional control of our laptop from the screen when we're in wireless screen sharing mode. And this is fantastic because you can have your laptop anywhere in the room and you can manage all your content, your spreadsheets, your PowerPoints and so on uh, from the screen without having to go back to your, your laptop. And that is the MaxHub Share application. Right, so now we We've seen how simple it is to connect via the application. Simply put in the code or select the nearest device. Uh, then you go to your screen mirroring and you select your application or your screen of choice and you jump into a screen sh sharing session. Um, what you can also do is bring your own meeting, which is a new feature. That is the third menu item on the left, uh, is shared peripherals. If I open this um, tab, you'll see it gives me the option to share my camera, microphone, and speakers. Uh, there is also a slider which will select all three simultaneously, uh, which is obviously the most convenient way of doing it. Um, now, this is great if you are running a Teams meeting on your laptop and there's no time to send invitations out to the panel to get the panel involved in, a, in the Teams call and you need to use your laptop as the physical codec. So what we do is, we enable the peripherals. So once we've selected that, it says waiting for peer consent. You'll see here at the top of the screen, it's wanting to confirm uh, the sharing of the peripherals. So I'll agree. So that's great. Now I've shared my peripherals. Now I go to my codec of choice, which in this case is Teams, Microsoft Teams. Right, so we're using Microsoft Teams. Once I've shared my peripherals on the MaxHub Share app, I open up my, uh, my Teams, I go through to my settings, I go through to devices, where it says speakers, you will see it will default to your, the speakers of your laptop. 
uh, which in this case is a real tech device. If I select the drop down menu, it gives me the option for sharing media. This is the Max Hub uh, sharing platform. I'll do the same with my camera. Go down to my camera. And I will select sharing media camera. And now the laptop is my codec but my camera speakers and microphones are now shared with the panel so that I can include a room full of people into the meeting off my laptop. So this is the wireless screen sharing dongle we discussed previously. Uh, they have made certain modifications to this device. The one that uh, I think is, uh, was a very uh, good modification was to allow for USB-C connectivity as well as USB-A. As we know, laptops are all going across to USB-C. So this future proofs your solution. Um, it's a very robust device and um, we recommend uh, one with every panel as I mentioned, for guests and so on. What's important to remember is the dongle needs to be married with the panel. So it's very important when you get your new Max Hub to pair the dongle with the panel. It's quite a simple process. We go to the USB connectivity on the front of the panel. We patch in the dongle. It takes a few seconds to synchronize. If there's any software updates that need to be done, uh, that will happen at the same time as well. So we're just waiting for pairing. Pairing successful. Right, now to wirelessly screen share, we take the dongle, we plug it into our USB port. The light will flash until it synchronizes. It takes a couple of seconds. Uh, but once it's installed, uh, it will show this screen over here which gives you the option to occupy the cast. So you could do that either directly from the laptop or for simplicity's sake, just push the button on the dongle once and it shares your screen. You have the same bi-directional control as you do with the sharing application. And you also have the bring your own meeting capability. And this offers uh, slightly less complexity, wherein uh, once you've inserted the dongle, it automatically finds the peripherals. It's a matter of going into your codec of choice, like we did previously, which I'll demonstrate again now, um, but there's no need to go into the application to confirm uh, the connection of the peripherals. It does that automatically. So we'll go once again into Teams, like you did with the application, you will go into your device settings and under device settings, you will select M Media, uh, for your camera, microphones and speakers and you can now jump into a Teams call from your laptop utilizing the features of the IFP. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. I uh, hope that it was of, of benefit. As you can see, there's multiple ways of connecting wirelessly with the MaxHub V6 interactive flat panel as well as the ability to share the peripherals of your laptop um, in the Bring Your Own Meeting mode. I uh, hope this was of benefit. Thank you for watching.